Hi, I'm Molly Gold, Family Time Management Expert at GoMomInc.com, and today I've got seven tips for you for planning prom. I know, it might seem like it's a million years away, but suddenly I find myself with one going to prom this year and one who could be going as early as next year if he gets asked out by an older girl, which I'm definitely going to hope doesn't happen. <laughs> so it seemed to me that as we were working with our son to help him and his friends get their details in order for prom, as a group of juniors, none have gone before, and interestingly enough, it was the guys who took charge. I found that I was helping him go through a process that I think is helpful to share with busy moms so that when the time comes for you to not plan your child's prom, but help them make the plans for themselves with their friends, you've got a nice little cheat sheet. So here we go. Number one, it starts after, of course, the ask for the date and the yes, it starts with the outfits. Whether it's a girl or a boy, you need to give yourself more than enough time to either purchase the dress or rent the dress or rent the tuxedo. There's a lot of great ways to do that that are very affordable from um, charity hosted dress swaps where people bring dresses from a previous event and they swap it for a new one to fundraisers to buying something new if that's what you want to do. The other thing that needs to be given more than enough time that is an easy thing to overlook is ordering the corsage and the boutonniere. Many florists and if you choose to go to a grocery store floral outlet tend to have ordering cycles of when fresh flowers come in and you need to make sure that you've got your order in early enough so that those flowers are there on time and if you need to supply ribbon to match the dress exactly you can do that. That was something that surprised me. I found that the ribbon, that the color that we needed to match was not in the ribbon box. So off we went to find ribbon to match the color of the dress so everything will look perfect this weekend. The next thing that you want to help your child decide is what group of kids, if any, is going to attend. It's perfectly fine to go to prom as a couple. They may want to do a double date or the next thing you know they might be talking about a group of 10, 12, 18 kids. If that's the case, don't be afraid to step in and set some ground rules. For little things like mm, everybody needs to know each other, there can't be any kids that you've never met before, and if need be, hosting everybody over at your house ahead of time so that you know who everybody's spending time with, and it's very cl clear what the ground rules are. No alcohol, no drugs, and if there's a sign of anything, parents are called and the night's over. It's pretty simple. Dinner. What are they gonna do? Something that I've seen done a couple of times is really awesome for seniors is hosting a dinner at somebody's house where it's not a potluck, but it's a lovely dinner that the parents put on for the kids, whether or not they make the items or they cater it, but they definitely do it to the nines. Another option is if your children are going to visit a restaurant as a group, you can call ahead for the reservation, of course, but at that time, if you want to go ahead and arrange for a preset menu with maybe as many as three options, the kids can pick that menu in advance. They'll go ahead and have that already set up with the restaurant. Dinner will go very smoothly and run on time, and everybody will know exactly how much they have to pay for everything. Just keeps it simple so they can focus on having fun and not worry about the logistics. Next up is transportation. Do you want the kids driving or is it worth it to you to foot the bill or encourage them to pay part of the bill towards group transportation? We found in our research that getting something like a Mercedes Sprinter van was considerably less expensive, more than half, than purchasing a limo for the night. So keep that in mind. Safe travel options are out there and they don't have to cost over $1,000. While you're planning all this out, this leads us to pre and post party. When it comes to pre party, there's really not a reason to pre party because everybody's going to pick each other up. The guys will go pick up the girls. Everybody will take pictures of the girl's house. But what about group pictures? Encourage someone to consider stepping up and hosting group pictures. Of course, it's me. <laughs> We're doing it at our house because that's also where the transportation is going to come and go. And when you do that, make sure to send out an evite. We did a great little evite and send it to the parents too. And invite all the parents to come over and for about 30 to 45 minutes, everybody can take pictures. Very much fun. It really lightens the, the mood for everyone and kind of gets everybody excited. And you send them off together. All their cars are in one place. Yes, their keys will stay at the house where their cars are and the parents know exactly where they're coming and going from and that just really sets the stage to make sure that those group pictures and individual pictures have been taken and everyone is ready to share the memories after prom. And then the final thing is what do you do after prom? This is a personal decision for every family. Uh, we've decided to have it be that junior year is not the year for a post prom party but for senior year you can plan on an all night bonfire in the backyard and invite everybody to come and invite the parents to come and make breakfast in the morning the whole nine yards. 
Our goal is to try and provide a safe and fun night for the kids where they're in charge of making the details and the plans come together and that we've asked them some leading questions so they can make decisions and if they've needed to be direct redirected, it's worked out pretty well. I don't want to be in charge of my kid's night. For him, ultimately, I want him to have a great time. This is a big step, going to prom, getting older, college isn't very far away. But like all things, you need a checklist. And so we made a checklist and we helped them through the process. In just a few days, it's time to prom. So tell me, if you have a child who's gone to prom or is going to prom, how have you helped them with the planning process? Because remember, it's their prom, not yours. But it's always okay to help them with the details. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.